Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in After Effects about how to add uh, an asteroid impact to one of your videos. So let's start by heading down here into your project files and let's import uh, the two videos I'm going to be using. Asteroid Impact green screen and uh, the main video. So I will leave a link, download link to the Asteroid Impact in the description. I not sure if it's copyrighted or not, so I wouldn't use this in anything commercial. Um, but you can use this for your own private use. So, uh, let's start by importing the main video. And let's put it right there. We're also going to right click down here, new, null object, and hit enter on your keyboard to rename it. Let's call this one motion track. We're going to need to track the motion of this video. So uh, the video I'm using, it's just kind of me panning around um, a beach a bit. So anyway, let's just find two points that are constantly, that are always on the screen, like this one and this one. These two points, they're always on the screen somewhere around the center. So those should be good for motion tracking. So let's just go ahead and head to the, go to the start of your clip, first of all. Uh, and then let's make sure you have main selected um, your main video, hit track motion, <clears throat> uh, hit, uh, make sure you select rotation and scale. That should be pretty good. Also, we'll go ahead and edit target, motion track. Make sure you've got your motion track target. There we go. And then let's go ahead and let's move these around slightly. So let's move this one, this track point. Let's um, sort of move it over there, over the rock and... Um, I take a bit of tweaking just to get that rock selected, but uh, I should be able to select it just like so. I got that one selected. Then I'm gonna try to find maybe a better one. Okay, yeah. So it looks like probably this one is also pretty good for motion tracking. Uh, this other rock here. You just want to find kind of two points that uh, you can track that are pretty obvious, like a rock or a. Really, yeah, just something obvious that you can track pretty easily. So, I'm not sure why it's doing this right now. Let me just go ahead and um, do oh. There we go. And I'm just going to extend that slightly. Now, this should be pretty good for motion tracking, these two points. So, there we go. We've got two points selected for motion tracking. Now, let's go ahead and uh, make sure at the beginning of your clip, obviously. Hit uh, Analyze here, and it should be Analyze Forward. Just hit that. And, um, yeah, it'll just kind of analyze. It'll motion track. Uh, I'm zoomed in a bit too much here. So those are off the screen, but that's just visual. Um, anyway, you want to try to make sure that it sort of tracks the entire thing here. I'm just going to head to 50% uh, zoom. There we go. I'm going to continue tracking it. And this motion track seemed actually pretty good, pretty accurate and stable. So, um, yeah, you, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good, actually. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just head to the beginning of the clip. You don't have to, but I'm just going to do that. Uh, then uh, you can see motion target, motion track. Make sure that's that. Then uh, hit apply down here. Uh, apply dimensions X and Y. Yes. So just hit OK. And now this will be stationary pretty much it'll be stationary you can see that little square that little box there should be stationary and not be moving over your footage it should be like should be pretty stable so it looks like it's part of the footage then let's go ahead and um, import the asteroid impact let's put it right there now I'm gonna just play forward this is a little asteroid oops this is just an asteroid impact explosion thing. So our video isn't quite long enough for this. So we're going to have to actually make our composition a bit longer. So we're going to change composition settings. And you can see it's five second composition. I'm going to make the composition nine seconds just to accommodate uh, for the length of this asteroid impact. Then you can see I should be able to see it coming in there. Let me actually re-import so you can see here. Uh, that asteroid comes down there and explodes. There we go. So we got a pretty long composition. Let's just do that. 
So now we might need to trim this one down slightly. So uh, I'm just going to trim it like maybe right, I'm going to trim it to like right about here. There we go. And let's move this one back a bit. Yeah. Just like that. I think that that should be pretty good. Then it'll look like that. So now we need to actually get rid of all this green stuff. So make sure you have Asteroid uh, Impact selected for your um, green screen. Hit Effect, Keying, Key Light 1.2. Then uh, over here, Screen Color. Just click the little uh, thing here next to the color thing. Go over the green, click the green, and there you go. Now, We've got an asteroid impact there, but it doesn't quite look realistic yet. It's just, you know, yeah, it looks not very realistic. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head over here, um, asteroid, and we're going to head over here to the right. And you should see parent here. Either you can go and select motion track, or you can grab this little, like, swirly thing and drag it onto motion track. So you can drag that onto your null object. There we go. Now this looks more realistic because um, I'm just gonna go ahead because it uh, it motion tracks, so it looks a bit more realistic. But it's still it's not really you know I don't know, but there's something about it that's not realistic. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and first, actually I'm gonna move this one around a bit. So let's skip forward to the explosion, and let's say we want the explosion. I kind of want the explosion over there, uh, and I'm gonna just. I think right over there, it's, it's pretty good. Then let's hit S for scale. Maybe scale it down slightly. Put it right about there. I don't know, I kind of like that explosion. That looks a bit more realistic, actually. Now, a few things we need to change about this. So let's just kind of skip forward a bit in the explosion, like, I don't know, at this point. Then let's, let's zoom in. So this shrapnel, it doesn't really look like the color of the ground. So we're going to fix this, uh, at least slightly, by... Uh, First of all, we're going to go to Effect and Presets, let's search Curves, and let's just drag that onto our little asteroid here, and then we can change the curves so that it matches a bit more the ground, and it looks a bit more like it fits in, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, it looks a bit more realistic now, you can just mess around with that. We're going to grab Hue and Saturation, because this was recorded with my phone, there isn't great hue slash saturation. So we might bring down the saturation a bit just to make it match the video quality slightly. So I'm just going to turn it down to like maybe 11 maybe. I don't know. So, so, something like that. And let's see how this looks now. And um, the meteor is coming in there and explodes. Shrapnel looks a bit more realistic-ish. Uh, anyway, we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to just trim this down at the end. And, um, yeah, looks pretty realistic, actually. Now, one last thing that is optional. Uh, so if you just are happy with this, you can end the video here. The next thing I'm about to do is optional for more realism, but you don't have to do this. So anyway, thank you for watching if this is all you wanted. If you want to actually do some 3D lighting, uh, to make it actually look like the explosion lights up the ground, which it would realistically, uh, let's let's do that part now. So, uh, let's go ahead and go to, uh, let's actually right click here, new, light, uh, let's go uh, light type, let's call this, uh, actually go to spotlight and click ambient, then let's just call this um, video video lighting. You just need to make an ambient light. Intensity 100%. Don't change that. There you go. That should change nothing on your video. Also, let's go ahead and you see here main and there's a little cube here. Let's check that. And uh, let's also check the asteroid impact just like so. Then let's go ahead and make a new uh, light and let's make this one light type spotlight. Okay, let's call this one, uh, let's call this Impact uh, Light. There we go. Now, uh, let's hit OK. And you can see here, we can actually light up different parts of the scene with this light, which is great. That's what we want. So let's kind of drag this around so it's kind of a, 
on there-ish. Um, and also, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also motion track this as well. Um, so I'm going to go to the beginning here of the explosion. Just the beginning of the explosion, that's when we want the light on. So let's head over here, impact light. Let's uh, also, let's drag this parent. Um, so let's grab the little swirly thing, drag it onto motion track, that little null object, just like so. So it actually kind of follows the thing and looks more realistic. Once again, realism is essential. So let's head uh, right over here about where it explodes. Let's head to light options. And let's cone angle, you can see. Let's turn up the cone feather as well. For it. Just turn up the cone feather to like 100% if you want to. Cone angle. Let's, uh, that, that, just like that looks good. Maybe turn down the intensity slightly. So, that is pretty good. Let's, now, what we want to do is uh, we want to actually just grab like this. So, boom. Uh, I'm just making sure that the actual light starts when the thing lands. So I'm just going to drag this back one frame. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually have to keyframe this just to make it look more more realistic with the lighting. So uh, hit the little stopwatch next to intensity. Uh, let's have the starting intensity be like, uh, I don't know, have a little burst like 80 percent let's say let's skip forward a bit right here at this point it's going to be at its maximum it'll be really strong light then it explodes more and slowly starts dying down so you just kind of want to keyframe here as different parts of the video change then we'll just turn this down intensity slightly just because that, that's about good. Then uh, just like that. There we go. Now let's see how this looks. That doesn't quite look great. I think it's because the lighting is a bit too abrupt and the cone isn't big enough. So let's just change the cone angle. Light it up, but that light doesn't look like good. We're gonna go ahead. We're actually going to grab a little bit of a different type of lighting here. No, that doesn't look great either. Let's grab a bit of a lighter, kind of a really bright orange, like really bright orange. Because we want it to be pretty bright, but just enough to just do like that. So let's grab over here. Intensity. I'm gonna have the intensity be starting a bit lower, and then we'll have it die down. So, just about like so. Looks pretty realistic. Yeah, looks looks very fairly realistic actually. Um, there you go. You can mess around more if you want to, but that's, you know, that's about that. If you want to, you can also make the lighting effect not be on the asteroid. You're noticing a difference there. Um, you know, you can do yeah, whatever you want.